David, you've got us here on a point of interest, but what interests me is you've got these uh, flower boxes here, which is a bit uh, unusual for a, an outfit like this. So what's, what's behind what you're doing? Well, tell us all about what you're doing here. Yep. A uh, couple of reasons. Uh, a lot of my work is based on Malcolm Beck from the uh, Gardenville in Texas. He's probably the biggest compost producer in America. Uh, and in one of his books, he says that people tend to smell with their eyes as much as they do with their nose. So if a, if a, a facility looks unkempt and dirty, then people are going to pick up on any little bit of an odour. Uh, but we're also using the flower boxes as tests because we're catching all the leachate that comes out of this trial that I'm actually standing on. I'm standing on what was uh, at the same level as these hay bales full of food waste which went in here in uh, in June so we're now just getting into December so it's five months old it's already uh, reduced in size by about 33 percent and it'll probably go down to half its original size by the time it's finished. <laughs> 